The Darwin Street Art Festival was launched last year and continues to brighten up the city. This year, 12 murals will be painted by high-profile local and interstate artists onto walls in the inner city. On this wall behind us, Dr G, somebody that will always be in the hearts of Territorians and a fitting tribute. We thank his family and his friends sincerely for allowing his image and his lyrics to be uh, painted on this, what is a blank canvas, but will soon turn uh, his legacy into something that's living part of our CBD. Street art is something that uh, both can annoy a lot of people, but can also please a lot of people. And I think the fact that David has been able to bring you know, nationally recognised artists to this project. I think the family uh, and us as well, who are a little bit involved, find that to be incredible. Since his passing, they have uh, said to us that they want his legacy to live on, and they have in, in fact put aside all cultural protocol so that his name can be mentioned, his image can be shown, his voice can be heard, and they've done that because they believe that his his legacy needs to be remembered. The Gurumore mural will be painted by artists Andrew Burke and Jesse Bell, who took part in the Painting Home project, covering homes across Bagot in colourful murals in 2015. It's lovely to be here. I have Ryan with me here today. We've just been at the launch of a beautiful mural that's going to happen uh, in recognition and commemoration of Dr G. So we're very much looking forward to that as our uh, next installation in the Street Art Festival. But I'd like to have a talk to Ryan about how he got involved. Um, how did you find out uh, through the expression of interest uh, about the Street Art Festival? I've been a local street artist here for around about 10 years now. So I was, I was pretty keen to get in there. Um, See, so yeah, I submitted uh, my artwork through the website, the Darwin Street Art Festival website, and um, yeah, heard back and got invited to come through to the festival. It's fantastic to see we've got, again, local artists working with interstate and overseas artists uh, this year to produce some really fine works of art that people will be able to walk around the CBD, take photos of, tag themselves on uh, Instagram. The CBD will once again come to life and we're very much looking forward to seeing over the next couple of weeks uh, all the great installations that are going on. The Darwin Street Art Festival runs from the 6th to the 16th of September, adding a real feature of vibrancy and colour to the city.